Hello everybody, my name is Mike Matrix and today I'm going to start uh, with the first part of hopefully a multi-part series about bucket plugins and how to make them. And today we're going to start off with uh, creating a little simple framework for uh, just setting up the workspace. And I'm using IntelliJ IDE, but that doesn't really matter because we're going to use Maven as our build system and dependency resolution system. If you have IntelliJ or Eclipse, they're going to support that and immediately import all the uh, necessary stuff. I think Eclipse actually has a plugin for that. I don't know. Um, I've been using IntelliJ for a while, so I'm out of the loop with the Eclipse stuff. But anyways, uh, we're going to use Maven, which is for the beginners probably gonna look a little bit complicated but actually makes things a lot easier along the lines and for those of you who already are developing uh, bucket plugins and haven't looked into maven or gradle or similar uh, build systems uh, yet it's gonna actually you you're probably gonna realize that it's making things a lot easier so let's start off with creating our project uh, which hopefully it will do and not hang on me. Thank you. So we're going to start with a main project and I'm going to create this under tutorial, uh, tutorial one, uh, or just tutorial, I think. Um, we're going to make this a, a maiden project. Um, I'm just going to name this tutorial, uh, the plugin. Uh, yes, I want to create this. The plugin uh, probably just gonna be named tutorial. Um, now we, IntelliJ is is uh, doing this automatically. Uh, there's also a, a similar screen in Eclipse, as far as I remember. Uh, if you're doing this with the command line, I might actually do a little quick tutorial how to do that and attach it somewhere. If not, I'm, I'm sorry. Um, but yeah. Uh, the, the three major things that are important for Maven for now is group ID, artifact ID, and version. Now, uh, group ID, you usually want to use the namespace you're using uh, for all of your projects to sit on. Um, for me, it's uh, com.thevoxelbox. Um, usually um, something like that. Uh, there's there's guiding uh, guidelines for for um, namespaces and package names uh, of uh, Oracle. You should probably take a look at those. Probably gonna put a link in the description as well to them uh, how to create them. Uh, basically, it's just uh, the the domain name you own or are part of in reverse. And if you don't own one, you can use v dot. Uh, then your nickname or real name, whatever you want to use. Artifact ID, I'm going to leave at tutorial and version, I'm going to put then extra .o because I like the three-digit versioning a little bit better. Allows me to, to version it more precisely in a better way, I guess. I don't know. You can you can do whatever. Uh, the snapshot just means it's, it's not a release version it's a snapshot release so let's create the workspace for us and we're gonna quickly while this load um gonna be greeted with this little thing here which is actually the the pom xml file for your project which describes your project and how to build it and what re uh what is required for it uh, I'm also enabling auto import because I'm a lazy person. Yes. So, uh, what is the POM XML? As I said, this describes what the project uh, is and how to build it, what it needs to be built, and just allows you to fine tune what you usually do by uh, configuring your project in like the IDE you can do in in this POM XML. Uh, and also it creates us um, with a source directory with a main directory and test directory underneath it and uh, a java and resources and here is java only but there can be a resources part underneath um, 
But yeah, that's that's the project structure. So we have the source and POM XML. IML and ID are uh, specific for IntelliJ ID, um, which uh, if you're using no IDE at all or any other IDE, probably not gonna have those. But yeah, source and POM XML are the important ones. So test is gonna, there's gonna be um, the tests for your project, which in our case, we're gonna write none. Maybe we're gonna write some in the future, but I'm just gonna ignore that for now. Uh, Test-driven development is a keyword you wanna look up uh, if you wanna know it specifically what uh, what this is about. Um, the main part is our uh, where our code resides, or rather in, in main Java is where the code resides. And resources is any resource that's supposed to end up in our jar. Uh, that we're gonna produce. So, well, first off, we're gonna need uh, our bucket dependency. So um, there's there's two little things that we need. Uh, there's the dependency for bucket and where it actually can find it. Uh, normally, a lot of things can be found directly in the main uh, central repository which is automatically uh, in our POM XML uh, included, in an effective POM. Um, so you can resolve a lot of things like um, argument parsers, etc. Uh, can be resolved automatically without adding a re repository for that. Bucket is in a separate repository, so that's why we have to add the repository for Bucket, which we're going to do now. So we're going to uh, put in uh, repositories, repositories here, uh, and now we can list some repositories. Now um, each separate one, uh, repository. I can't write, um, and each of them has an ID or requires an ID and an URL. The ID is simply to identify it. This can be whatever you want, but it. It's important if you're actually publishing towards that repository later on that you keep uh, that ID probably consistent across uh, all of your projects. Uh, just a general, you should do, but you don't have to do it. So we're gonna name those uh, simply bucket dash repo. And the URL, let me look that up real quick. There is over here. Uh, which you can actually go to and look through what what's in there, etc. So uh, you see, there's there's no I don't no what there's a bucket, there's craft bucket, there's some other things like Minecraft server. Um, but yeah, uh, we want to keep that URL, which I'm gonna put in the um, description as well. So now that we have the repository set up we can simply add dependencies over here and now we want a dependency i don't know why my dependency um why my auto uh, complete isn't working but whatever um this is gonna need uh three things that we already sort of know the, the format of which is group id artifact id and version is what also is needed in dependency. Uh, this is because um, it sort of uh, transpires through the build, build process and um, ends up in the actual uh, files and how they are stored and in the additional palms that are saved with the, with the file. Um, so we're gonna do group ID. I don't know why the hell it's not showing me stuff. Uh, but this is org.bucket and the artifact ID is simply bucket and the version is I think 172-r.03 should be should be resolving it's actually downloading right now because I enabled auto import so this already is gonna, uh, as soon as this finishes downloading, and yeah, now it's quickly indexing everything. 
Now we see over here already uh, added automatically because IntelliJ does that. Uh, added our bucket uh, jar file with all the good stuff. So we have org bucket, all the API is here. Now the second part we need is actual the actual uh, extension point, which usually people um, it, it's it's simply the class that extends um, Java plugin in case of bucket plugins. So we're gonna add a Java class over here. We're gonna put it in our namespace. In my case, I usually name this uh, with the simple naming scheme of my namespace, my, my group ID essentially, and then uh, my artifact ID in lowercase. And uh, my extension point is named after the plugin itself. So we're gonna uh, com.devoxbox.tutorial and our main extension point is called tutorial. So we have a class residing in com.devoxbox.tutorial named tutorial. And we're gonna extend Java plugin and import that of course. So now that we have our extension point, we, we need one more thing to be ready to, to go and actual build and it's gonna be able to run in a bucket uh, server. And that is our plugin.yml. So let's create that. So bucket, what? No, whatever. Ignore that. <laughs> um, our bucket plugin, uh, our bucket plugin YML is gonna need some some content namely name of the plugin the main class of the plugin which we have over here that is our name uh the version and maybe author uh or description as well if you want to i'm just gonna add myself as the author here and i can't type my own name and version and main and name, right? Makes sense. Um, now, one thing is we already have defined uh, the, the version and the artifact ID. Uh, well, not the artifact ID, but we can use the artifact ID. Um, but namely the, the version and the artifact ID or name we can use in here. And that is by using uh, the insertion syntax here, um, not plugin, project dot artifact ID. And version, same thing, uh, project dot version. Now this is, um, also let's add com dot the box of box a tutorial dot tutorial over here. So it's all things are complete. Uh, now, those two things are actually referencing uh, things from the POM XML. So it's referencing the artifact ID here and the version over here. If you notice, uh, everything in here is residing on the project. So project.artifact ID is over here. Now, one more thing, we, we need to add one more thing to actually um, tell uh, Maven that it supposed to replace those with the actual values because right now it's gonna build and it's gonna say project version and project artifact ID instead of the actual things. And um, let me hit myself. Well, all right. So here's gonna be our build part of, of the thing. And we're gonna add a new resource I hope I spelled that right. Oh, I think, <laughs> yeah, I didn't spell that right. Let me, Jesus. Resource, uh, resources. And re, uh, we are gonna add one more resource, which is by default already defined, but we wanna change this. And that is, uh, we want to add the directory of uh, source main resources 
and we're gonna enable filter filtering and enable that so now that we have that and I still don't understand why why, why it's not allowing me to autocomplete things not that we have that we can simply run either through the terminal you can do maybe install in here that's gonna run or if you have IntelliJ it's actually gonna show up over here lifecycle and just do an install and we're gonna wait And now if we, it finished, and now if we uh, look into uh, our development folder, which is the same thing over here, we have a target folder, which is the default um, Maven build directory, essentially. And we already have the tutorial 100 snapshot draw. And if we look into that with WinRAW, for example, we can see we have the plugin YML, and if we view that, it replaced the values with the corresponding uh, things. All right, so that means we can start developing things and all the classes obviously are in there. By the way, that's how it looks uncompressed. So, sweet. Now we can start doing things. Uh, next time I'm gonna quickly go into uh, how extension points work in Bucket. So thanks for watching, tune in next time. Bye.